Alright Cancer, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of June 29th through July 5th of 2021. So energy of the week, you have the thinking man. The thinking man says there's someone that's going to come into your environment and give you a new outlook on something. Um, I feel like you've been seeing something a certain way. And someone's going to come in and show you a different way of looking at that same situation. We are going to clarify Cancer. We're going to use Queen of the Moon Oracle to clarify see if we can get a little bit more information about who this person is hmm beauty so beauty says that you look at things all things even difficult aspects in a way that you can see the beauty in everything um, it shows this picture of nature it looks like some flowers there's butterflies um, but you can tell like one of the flowers looks like her lips the stem here looks like her eyes, the nose. It's telling you to find beauty in all situations, and I feel like that's what's happening. Um, I feel like this is someone who's coming into your environment, Cancer, and they're seeing beauty from something that you went through. All right, Cancer, this week I added back the Numinous Astro deck so we can make this information a little bit more personal. If you do have access to your birth chart, you should be able to place this information in your birth chart so you can see what it is that you're working with this week. It's a sextile, so it's an opportunity. So I'm feeling like it says collaborate, so I feel like this is the person. Um, assist, explains, provides opportunity i feel like that is what's happening um this person is coming in and seeing something in a different way i'm able to look at it from the outside perspective all right cancer we're going to use witch's tarot for our main spread let's see if we can get a little bit more information It also says open doors, promises, brings insight to, communicates, welcomes, develops. I'm feeling like this is a new person that you're meeting Cancer and you're seeing how much easier the energy flows with this person. Challenges and obstacles is five of pentacles. Five of pentacles says you feel abandoned. You feel like someone left you out in the cold. Lesson already learned that can help you with that challenge or obstacle. Look at that. Cancer, the magician. So the magician is manifestation, creating, as within, so without. It's in your lessons already learned, but it's possible that you're doing this now. Outcome, Cancer, the moon. Um, fear. I, I sense a little fear. Emotions are high. Um... But you're creating whatever this person is that's happening. So if someone's coming to your environment, Cancer, and they see you in a different aspect, maybe they see the beauty of the difficulties that you went through, something like that. Um, I feel like it's possible this person could make you nervous. But Five of Pentacles says you're still dealing with something in the past, something old. Um, something that needs to change, something that needs to you need to move on from. But it's something to do with abandonment, feeling like you've left someone or someone has left you. But what you're doing is you're creating a new opportunity here. All right, we are going to clarify, and we're going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify. Even though you're manifesting this cancer, I feel like it's causing you to be very emotional and even fearful. For the Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, so a new beginning. Um, like I said earlier, you need to leave this behind. This is a new opportunity. Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity, new beginning, um, a new... Pinnacles, it's a good opportunity. This is a good opportunity. So I feel like it's telling you that you really need to move away from this energy uh, so that you don't lose this opportunity. For the magician, you have the two of pinnacles. Um, so I'm feeling like whatever it is you're manifesting is about letting something go. Uh, releasing something. I do get with like these two cards, both hands, there's power in both hands. 
Maybe you're putting energy back into somewhere that maybe you had released it before, took it away before. Um, it was low before. For the moon, you have the devil. So the devil can be Capricorn energy. This could be a new person, could be Capricorn energy. Um, I feel like you're emotional because the devil can also be something that's toxic. Um, it could be something you feel bound to. And that's what I'm getting. I'm feeling like you feel bound to the situation um, that left you out in the cold. And so it's possible that you could be letting this new opportunity slip through your hands. And that's kind of what I'm getting here with the magician and the two of pinnacles. Like you're trying to manifest something, but it's possible that it gets very... Um, you're so emotional about the situation that it's possible. I'm getting like someone's walking a tightrope um, and the, it's really, you could fall at any moment. All right, Cancer, let's see if we can get you some guidance with magical times. Whatever the fear is, it has to do with a person. Um, it's possible that the person has Capricorn in a major aspect, sun, moon, or rising. Um, but I'm feeling like it's somebody that you feel bound to, Cancer. Look at that. <laughs> Union, right out of the gate. You have seen and unseen allies draw upon their strength, join forces with friends, and flourish. I'm going to read that one more time. Union, you have seen and unseen allies draw upon their strength, join forces with friends, and flourish. So I'm feeling like I'm speaking to someone who is not with their twin presently. Um... But it clearly says to, you can still use their energy. You can still use the strength that you received from that situation. But it does tell you to join forces with friends. Anticipation. Something wonderful is happening. Change is in the air. Open yourself to blessings on their way. I'm definitely getting like love is in the air. <laughs> Friendship. Be with the ones who make you shine, who love you and really care. Keep those and let the others go. Now, I feel like it's very possible here um, that that's the fear, is this person doesn't want to let this other person go. Um, destiny on the bottom. Acknowledge your mission. Ooh, yep. <laughs> Acknowledge your mission. Align with your purpose. You have gifts to share with the world. So I'm feeling like if you're not in, in union with your twin, um, if you're not, that's not true. I'm feeling like if you're not currently with your twin, um, you're feeling like it's possible that some sort of new friendship has come about. Um, that clearly this person sees you in a very beautiful light. Um, but you are um, anxious, um, fearful scared um i feel like it has something to do with feeling like you are um leaving someone behind but you're not it's part of your destiny it's part of your mission you're here to teach others unconditional love all right cancer we're going to end it with a moonology oracle this is going to help with your thoughts and emotions i do feel like you are in your head a lot but i do feel like you're very emotional Whatever it is you're thinking about is causing the high emotions. Emotions are running high, the supermoon, so that always happens. <laughs> um, a new romantic cycle begins. It's the new moon in Libra. Alright, Cancer, I'm just going to leave it right there. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.